brush bot. You'll need an old toothbrush, some tape, a AAA battery, and a cell phone vibrator motor. You can find them at Radio Shack or your local electronics store. And some wire cutters or anything else you can find that'll cut the head off your toothbrush. Use your cutters to snip the head off your toothbrush. Take your AAA battery, put it on top of your brush head, and tape it on like this. Take your cell phone vibrator motor and place it on top, right in the dead center. Tape it down. When you're taping down the motor, make sure not to tape down the weight at the end of the shaft. This is what needs to move around. Now it's time to run your wires to the battery ends. Take the red positive wire and wrap it around the positive end of the battery, eliminating the slack. And tape that part down, leaving a little bit out. Then take your black wire and do the same on the other side. Tape it down. Time to connect your wires. Take your black negative wire and lay it on the negative end of your battery and tape down the exposed end of your wire to the head of the battery. Press hard on the connection so it'll last. Now you're going to do the same with the red positive wire. As soon as they contact though, your brush bot's going to come alive. Be prepared. This bot's buzzing now. Let's set it down and see how it behaves. The brush bot moves because the vibrating motor sends weight onto different bristle hairs constantly, thus gaining traction and moving the brush bot around. It's amazing how lifelike it looks. You can build a bunch and battle them, or just put them in a space and see how they behave.